As we start going down the path of planning for retirement, it's easy to feel the creeping need to get everything perfect. But as Voltaire said, perfect is the enemy of good. And that's certainly true in financial planning where there are hundreds of variables and we could even control a few of them. Life can be messy. Sometimes just getting the bare minimum done each week can feel like herding cats. And while we're in the throes of dealing with our own personal feline rodeos, getting the perfect investments in their perfect proportions inside our retirement accounts can seem like folly bordering on the absurd. It's tempting to throw up our hands and do nothing. But instead of being overwhelmed, please know it's still a huge win just to be slightly better than yesterday. Any bit of moving forward is still moving in the right direction. Way back in the days when I was an engineer, the guys in the prototype shop had a saying when confronted with an imperfect but functional solution. Hey, that's good enough for government work. Of course, they also said, at some point you have to shoot the engineers and go into production. I certainly resembled that remark at times. They knew that perfectionism was a form of procrastination and left unchecked, our quest to perfect our designs would mean that no new models would find their way into customers' hands. They also knew that it irritated the crap out of us, which was something that tickled them to no end. So as we design our retirement plans, how does perfectionism get in the way? Well, have you ever tried to make a detailed line item budget only to abandon it after a week or two of live fire? Of course you have, because we all have. And how did you feel after abandoning your budget? Our failure to stick to it can reinforce some nasty negative self-beliefs. Like, I'm no good with money. I can't budget. I'll never save enough to retire. Even worse, it can reinforce the idea that you can't keep your own commitments to yourself. Undermining our own self-efficacy is a terrible betrayal, and we foist it upon ourselves all the time. It's the worst kind of thing that we could believe about ourselves. But instead of failing at an overcomplicated budget, what if we instead focus on making one tiny move in the right direction? It could be as simple as saving another $100 a month instead of trying to max out your 401k and then living on ramen noodles. By building progress step by step, we not only get closer to our goals, but we also prove to ourselves that we can make progress. We learn to trust our ability to move closer toward a meaningful pursuit. I'm actually a big fan of Dave Ramsey's book. His approach to paying off debt is brilliant in its clarity and simplicity. Start small, make progress, and move to something bigger. Just be sure to throw it in the trash when you get to the chapter on investments. Or don't. His approach is better than staying stuck. And why would you let my opinion or his opinion on investments keep you from making progress? Any movement forward is a win worth celebrating. And I can agree with Dave Ramsey on that. After all, we really don't have as much control over things as we imagine. We don't know what the markets, the world, and life have in store for us. We can't control nature, economies, and world events. But we can still focus on the things we can control and keep making small steps toward the lives that we want to build. There will never be a perfect time to take the next step in your retirement planning. You know, just like having a kid, buying a house, starting a business, taking that bucket list trip, or getting into shape, blah, blah, blah. You'll probably never get everything perfectly organized either. And trust me on this, I've tried. So if you find yourself two months into planning out that perfect budget, building that perfect investment portfolio, or determining the perfect amount you need to save for retirement, ask yourself, is this really procrastination? Maybe doing that one simple thing today really is good enough for government work. You can deal with that next one simple thing tomorrow. And by the way, if you get one thing done in a day, you may be overqualified for government work. Finally, when you do reach a milestone, don't forget to celebrate. Making progress toward a meaningful goal may be more psychologically fulfilling than the simple pursuit of happiness. Perfection is unattainable and its pursuit can be, well, exhausting. As much as he's been deified, even Warren Buffett has made mistakes over his investment career. If he isn't perfect, why should we expect that from ourselves? Simplifying things and tackling them one by one may not only be the easiest approach, 
it may also be the better strategy in the long run. Now, if you're curious to see if downsizing actually helps in this high interest rate environment, I recommend that you click on this video to learn more. Thanks so much, and I'll see you there.